Today we are in conversation with a renowned artist, Lakshma Gaur. So, well, sir, have you been to Oroville before? No, I did came once, uh, but as far as the um, work is concerned, I think to the extent of time that I had spent, it is my first experience. And uh, I came to know of uh, this studio, Adil Studio, through my friends Vishu mm-hmm. and Sarla. So they made some proposition. So I, I told them, I said, it would be wonderful if you can find out some such plan where I can work for about a week or so and leave the work with you. And then you can probably mm-hmm. plan to present mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But uh, otherwise, I am familiar with the picture, uh, the topography okay. of this mm-hmm. part of the country. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it was very nice for me to come here and I'm very happy. So what are your first impressions about the people whom you met here? I haven't met anyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I never wanted to meet anyone. Why? Because I came for a purpose. I thought it is better I could should very happily sit down and work. And luckily to my temperament, Adil was so welcoming and mm. Adil's place was so inspiring mm. and uh, all these it is almost tomorrow it will be one week um, meditative mm. and uh, I thought it is better that I exploit it to the best of my ability rather than roaming around like a mm. monkey in the forest okay, that's excellent <laughs> <laughs> tell us something about your early days like when you started as well in a, fact uh, uh, I bought my college time when I, I first initiated into art school and then um, I had the opportunity of staying with Professor K.J. Subramanian in Baroda way back in 63 and 65. Uh, so that exposure after my art education was most uh, wonderful. Um, then I think that is where uh, I started rooting myself back uh, into the idea of working in the environment with natural material, mm. tool and technique because mm. uh, I, I was very keen that an artist must learn how to use material available in one's own environment. Mm. As you know when I say environment, uh, I come from a rural background, a mm. small village about 70 kilometers from Hyderabad. Mm. So quite uh, appropriately, uh, whichever medium that I touched, it has always enabled me uh, to connect, connect to back, connect back to our traditions very comfortably, effortlessly. And uh, that is what I can say about Mm. my early Mm. formative Mm. age. So something like, you know, when you were a kid, before you actually... So who was the first one to realize that you're going to be an artist? Or is there something that you drew at that time? So. Nothing. I don't think anybody like that can come up with saying that right from my childhood I'm an artist. I don't know. I was very bad in my school, in the sense in my primary level education. Not interested in textbook. Playing around, playing mm-hmm. around with clay or anything that you found... So that that was a kind of a thing. And I, uh, I, you said that you were interested in theatre. I do not know whether I have seen any village theatre now. Uh, so I have seen in Marathi theatre, so since I am from Bombay. Village. village. Uh, theatre, when you say it is urban. Uh, okay, prior- not in that terminology. Mm, uh, street street play. yeah so I used to do some street plays because <laughs> you used to do street plays now uh, so the difference between you and me I am 75 okay so I'm, uh, I'm referring to theater in the village okay where actor has propped up himself with borrowed clothes saris and rumals mm-hmm. pagadis from the houses of the neighbors you know and uh, he had no education to read his dialogue somebody would prompt him